Uh, we're going to hire a third-party mediator uh, that's a professional in the industry. Her name is Maria. So, do you think that you could sit down with Stacy and Vince and figure out your differences? I mean, do I think? Probably. Am I going to want to? I don't know. Like, I got assaulted the last time I saw her, and Vincent hasn't been really any help right now either, so... I mean, I heard there might be, like, a third-party mediator, uh, Marie. I mean, maybe she could help. I'll sit down if she's there to, like, kind of make sure I don't get attacked again. What, else, what, what I want to get out of this mediation is, you know, probably an apology for being assaulted. And also, I guess, I want to work together with these people, so... I guess also to move past this conflict. I think that we should sit down. I think it would be best... Um, I do kind of feel bad now after I had time to let everything soak in at my reaction to the situation. I shouldn't have put my hands on him. I was just enraged. Um, so I am willing to sit down to see where we could, if we could go forward because we've all been close and we're all business partners and I think it would be best. Oh, hi, I'm Maria from Johnson & Johnson's Mediation. I'm here to help the group uh, with their conflicts. They seem to have a lot of avoidance against one another, and they need to sit down and talk about their issues and their problems and listen to one another and come to some type of agreement. Hello. Hello, Maria. Welcome. Hello. <coughs> Hello there. How you doing? Welcome. Oh, so what brings you all here today? What's the problem? Hmm. Would you like to go first? Okay, we'll give you a moment. Would you like to go? I mean, I don't know what the really big problem is. What? Like, you know what the big problem is? No. Dude, You're come an on. idiot. What? Oh. Fucking idiot. Calm what? down. Calm down. You're an idiot. Okay? Oh. You're we're here because you're an idiot. That's that's why we're here. You're an idiot. It was a silly mistake. And I that's mean, why we're here. First okay, of all, don't attack him. First of all, I don't think you can define it as a mistake when it's awesome. Another idiot. Slango or whatever you want Come to call on, it. Come on, don't 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 use those words, please. Okay, just stop. Explain what the situation is. What happened? This idiot took all of our money and bought Mustangs. Well, first of all, it wasn't your money. We raised the money. It was kind of like a joint. okay, our money. <laughs> yeah. Our money. And you just wanted to buy stupid books with it, anyways. So. It was for a charitable cause. Dude. It was what we agreed upon. I mean, you didn't even consult no one. You just did it. Like, you had no regards for how he felt. You had no regards for how I felt. You just took the money and did what you wanted to do with it. You're it's so selfish good. and asinine. Do you understand what she's saying? I mean, I guess I can understand that I just, like, we all worked on it, and I did just take the money without, like, letting them in on my plan. Mm -hmm. I just bought all those cars instead of those books for those children. So you recognize that you are wrong. Yeah, but I also don't think I should but, have been choked. But I also... But you don't get it. Who cares if you bought a million race cars? You are supposed to be a business partner with him and I, and you told us anything, nothing. You came late, and you left us under the bus. With a blind eye, I mean, that wasn't standing cool. in front of thousands of people. Yeah, I mean, I understand. I understand that part. I really do, guys. I understand that part now. But I don't think I should have been assaulted, like choked to the ground. That was no. kind of mean. I mean, we were in front of a big crowd. You know, it kind of embarrassed our our whole like you know organization we had going. Do you feel that the choking was not necessary? I guess not. Are you going to offer him some kind of apology? I'm sorry for choking you. It was unnecessary, and um, no one should ever put their hands on someone else. Uh, yeah, and I guess I'm sorry for spending the money on the cars. I'll go to the dealership as soon as possible and no, see if no, I can't no, get the money back. No, that's what's wrong. You're not, the, you're not understanding the underlying issue. And what's the, the underlying issue? The underlying issue is that you did not consult with your business partners. You were it's selfish not just the Mustangs, man. in your decision making. Therefore, 
our feelings were hurt in a different way. Okay. It doesn't even matter about how the money was spent. It was about that you didn't consult us and you just didn't care. You were selfish, and that is the real reason I am angry. All right, so, yeah, I apologize in that aspect, too. Then if we get to work, if I get the chance to work with you guys again, I just won't make rash decisions without involving your guys' opinion. And I won't ever so, I'm sorry. choke you again. I was just, I can't believe how angry I got, and that really was out of character for me. Understandable. And I'm sorry that I embarrassed you. Oh, no problem. I was just, you know, I'm just glad we both can uh, mediate this out and, you know, come to an understanding. We all, you know, had some differences, but we got it all done. Wonderful. Do you think you can all shake hands? Absolutely. Come to an agreement? Great. Thank you, Maria, so for solving our issues. We'll be contacting Johnson & Johnson. <laughs>